seven years. That's how long the aviation industry has waited for the Boeing 777X to finally take to the skies commercially. Since 2020, when it was supposed to enter service, this aircraft has remained grounded by regulatory scrutiny. Now, as we approach the end of 2025, there's still no final certification in sight. Yet what makes this delay so significant isn't just the timeline, it's what this aircraft represents for the future of aviation. The Boeing 777X isn't just another wide-body jet. It represents Boeing's most ambitious project in decades. Launched in 2013, this aircraft was engineered as a technological revolution for the aviation industry. The 777-9er and 7778 variants promise to be the world's largest and most efficient twin-engine jets, delivering dramatically greater fuel efficiency, improved range, and significantly enhanced passenger capacity compared to every predecessor. Airlines globally have ordered more than 500 units of this aircraft. That's not a modest interest, that's industry-wide anticipation. But here's what matters most. Every month, this aircraft remains uncertified, the aviation industry bleeds money. Emirates, the world's largest operator with 270 aircraft on order, had planned revolutionary cabin products exclusively for the 777X. Qatar Airways, Korean Air and Lufthansa have equally transformative product launches dependent on 777X delivery. Lufthansa, designated as the launch customer, no longer expects first deliveries in 2026. This creates a cascading problem. Airlines cannot debut premium cabin experiences, forcing them to either delay product investments or retrofit existing fleets at enormous cost. The financial toll is staggering. In the third quarter of 2025 alone, Boeing recorded a $4.9 billion charge related to 777X delays. Combined with earlier losses, the program has accumulated more than $11 billion in overruns. These numbers represent real consequences, delayed cabin innovations, postponed fleet modernization, and higher operational costs that eventually reach passenger ticket prices. Airlines waiting for this aircraft have had to extend the service life of aging wide bodies, preventing the fleet modernization that reduces fuel consumption and emissions. This is precisely why the 777X matters so profoundly. When this aircraft finally enters service, it will fundamentally transform long-haul aviation. The 777-9er and 7778 variants deliver 10% better fuel efficiency compared to their predecessors. In an industry where fuel represents one of the largest operational expenses, this efficiency gain translates directly to lower ticket prices and reduced environmental impact. The folding wingtip technology, an innovative feature that allows the aircraft to fit within existing airport gates while maintaining longer effective wingspan, demonstrates engineering ingenuity that maximizes both efficiency Compatibility with current infrastructure The technological advancement extends beyond engines and aerodynamics. Boeing has equipped the 777X with advanced flight control software, state-of-the-art avionics systems and modern crew alerting mechanisms. These systems represent the latest safety standards demanded by the Federal Aviation Administration following the Boeing 737 MAX disasters. The FAA, after two fatal crashes that killed 346 people, completely restructured its certification approach. Now every component, every software function and every structural element faces direct FAA scrutiny rather than manufacturer self-approval. This heightened regulatory oversight explains why the 777X certification has extended beyond original timelines. The FAA demanded comprehensive peer reviews of supplier data and validation testing far beyond previous standards. Boeing has logged over 1,000 hours of flight testing across multiple test aircraft. Type inspection authorization phases focus on system demonstrations and flight testing with FAA personnel on board. As of late 2025, Boeing advanced to new certification phases, yet completion remains months away. Boeing even constructed 26 airframes before securing certification, an unusual decision driven by production economics. This inventory requires ongoing storage and maintenance, elevating program costs without generating revenue. International regulators have intensified scrutiny as well. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency, abbreviated EASA, indicated it would not automatically accept FAA certification, but would conduct independent reviews. This fragmented regulatory approach means Boeing must satisfy multiple regulatory bodies 
operating under heightened safety standards. When the 777X finally receives certification, expected in early 2026, first deliveries will begin in mid to late 2026. At that moment, the aviation industry will transform. Airlines will deploy the world's most efficient twin-engine widebody, reducing operational costs and environmental impact simultaneously. Passengers will experience premium cabin products delayed for years. Fleets will modernize after a seven-year standstill. The Boeing 777X represents aviation's future. Yes, the delays have cost everyone, but when this aircraft arrives, it will justify the wait. And you don't have any idea how advanced the Boeing 777X is. An aircraft so massive it required its own engine, the largest commercial jet turbofan ever built, yet this twin-engine widebody burns fuel like nothing before it. Since January 2020, Boeing has tested something revolutionary, wings that fold themselves, a wingspan stretching 235 feet, and engineering promises that redefine what efficiency means in long-haul aviation, the 777X arrives. The aviation industry rarely experiences breakthrough moments. Engineering advances occur incrementally, with each new aircraft offering modest improvements over its predecessor. The Boeing 777X marks a departure from this pattern. Announced in November 2013, the program launched two variants, the 7778 and the 7779. The 7778 accommodates 395 passengers with a range of 8,745 nautical miles. The 7779 carries 426 passengers across ranges exceeding 7,285 nautical miles. These specifications alone position the 777X competitively. What distinguishes it fundamentally is the engineering philosophy underlying these performance metrics. Twin-engine aircraft traditionally occupy a narrow operational window. Four-engine competitors, such as the Airbus A380, deliver capacity but sacrifice fuel economy. The 777X bridges this gap through direct technological intervention, composite wing design, advanced materials, and engines reimagined from foundational principles. The 777X composite wing extends 235 feet and 5 inches, from folding wingtip to folding wingtip. This wingspan represents a 15% increase in wing area compared to earlier 777 models, expanding from 4,702 square feet to 5,562 square feet. The structural material composition shifted entirely. Previous 777 variants used aluminum alloy construction. The 777X incorporated carbon fiber reinforced polymer composites, mirroring the structural approach proven successful on the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Wing composition directly determines structural efficiency. Composite materials weigh substantially less than aluminum while maintaining equivalent structural properties. This weight reduction enabled engineers to extend the wingspan without incurring proportional mass penalties. The wing's aspect ratio increased from 9 to 1 to 10 to 1, meaning the proportion of span to cord improved aerodynamic performance. Boeing derived the basic wing design philosophy from the 787, then modified it with reduced sweep. This configuration produced a higher lift-to-drag ratio, directly translating to reduced fuel consumption at cruise altitudes. The usable fuel capacity climbed from 320,863 pounds on earlier 777 models to 350,410 pounds on the 777X. Expanding range capability and operational flexibility. The folding wingtip mechanism represents the first implementation of this technology in commercial aviation. The 777X maintains airport compatibility with International Civil Aviation Organization Code E designations by incorporating 11-foot folding wingtips. When deployed for flight, the aircraft operates as a Code F vehicle with full aerodynamic benefit. Upon landing and decelerating past 50 knots, the wingtips automatically fold upward, reducing the effective wingspan by approximately 7 meters. The entire folding process completes in 20 seconds. The folding wingtip system resolves a major constraint. With a 260-foot span, the Airbus A380 cannot use most airports built for Cody aircraft. That limitation curbed its commercial reach. 
Boeing bypassed the issue by giving the 777X a 235-foot span in flight and a Cody e footprint on the ground. It uses the same gates and taxiways as existing 777 aircraft while gaining the aerodynamic benefits of a larger wing. The General Electric GE9X engine reflects an extraordinary development effort. General Electric invested more than $2 billion and secured FAA certification on September 28, 2020, after 8,000 test cycles and 5,000 hours of operation. Its dimensions alone set it apart. A 134-inch fan larger than a Boeing 737 fuselage and a 184-inch nacelle. 16 composite fan blades replaced the GE 90's 22, cutting drag and improving efficiency. Thermal performance exceeds earlier engines. The GE 90's overall pressure ratio was about 40 to 1. The GE 9X reaches 61 to 1 with a 27 to 1 high pressure compressor. Higher compression yields hotter, more efficient combustion. Certified thrust variants span 93,000 to 110,000 pounds force, while testing reached 134,300, a world record set in 2017. Certified thrust levels remain below maximum capability to preserve margin and reliability. Fuel burn reduction is central. The GE9X improves specific fuel consumption by roughly 10% versus the GE9115B, saving about 3,000 metric tons of fuel per aircraft annually, nearly 9,500 metric tons of carbon dioxide. Emissions improvements extend further. Nitrogen oxides and other pollutants fall to about half of current regulatory limits. A 10 to 1 bypass ratio improves propulsive efficiency and lowers noise. Advanced materials play a key role. Fourth-generation composite fan blades, higher-content epoxy composites, and additive manufactured components lighten the structure and optimize airflow. These material choices increase durability while enabling design geometries impossible with traditional machining. Airframe changes compound engine efficiency. The 777-9's longer fuselage and composite wing yield about 7% fuel burn improvement, with the GE9X contributing an additional 10%. Accounting for higher structural weight, net gains reach 12-13%. to On a per-seat basis, thanks to 10 abreast seating, fuel burn drops by about 20% relative to the 777-300ER. Cabin updates enhance passenger experience. Slightly wider internal dimensions allow 18-inch economy seats. Borrowed 787 systems, larger dimmable windows, improved humidity, lower cabin altitude, and better acoustic insulation boost comfort. Range performance remains competitive. The 7778 targets 8,745 nautical miles and the 779 surpasses 7,285. Operating cost per seat is projected to be about 20% lower than the 777-300ER and roughly one-third lower than the Boeing 747-400. The first 777 flew on January 25, 2020. Testing has accumulated more than 4,000 hours and in 2025, the FAA advanced the program into Phase 3 of certification. Delays stemmed from General Electric component durability issues and Boeing discoveries such as cracked thrust links reflecting the difficulty of developing new systems at this scale. As of late 2025, orders total 565 aircraft from 12 customers led by Emirates, Qatar Airways and Lufthansa. When it enters service in 2027, the 777X will pair near a 380 capacity with twin-engine economics, establishing a new efficiency benchmark for future wide-body designs.